As he floated in the tank, naked of armor and dressed only in a plethora of old scars, that age-old suspicion resurfaced amidst my thoughts. He had always been huge for one of our kind, and had always possessed his Primarch's features in the way many of the former sons of Horus tended to do. It was common knowledge, even during the Great Crusade, that no space marine took after their Primarch as obviously as Ezekiel Abaddon took after the War Master. But seeing him, stripped of battle plate and pretension alike, the similarity between dead father and living son was nothing short of revelatory. I finally gave voice to a question many had considered, yet none had dared ask. Are you Horus? His golden eyes glinted with amusement. He dragged in a slow breath through his rebreather. I am Ezekiel Abaddon, he said through the Medicaid's tank speakers. That is not what I meant. I shook my head and gestured to him. This immense figure in the suspension tank, with slabs of muscle over muscle and a demigod-like stature that had led to this legend being whispered throughout the Nine Legions, a legend that would one day be whispered across the galaxy. Are you Horus? Are you his clone? His son? He laughed, the sound wet and tinny over the speakers. What do you believe, Kaon? Do you think I am? I saw no reason to lie. Yes. This delighted him. I was not sure why. And if I were, brother, if I were merely Horus remade, recrafted, with a twist in my gene code here and an alteration there, would it change anything? I had to think about that. I looked into his eyes but saw no answers there, only amusement. Perhaps, perhaps you have always been a genetic twin of your Primarch. Or perhaps Ezekiel Abaddon was slain in his pilgrimage across the eye, and you were one of Fabius's creations in his place. How am I to know? This too delighted him. So yet again we come back to trust, my brother. So it seems. Now let me ask you this, Kaon. What does it matter? Clones, sons, fathers. Let the herd whisper whatever truths they choose. Our eyes are set on worthier goals. We look to the future, not the past. I acceded with a nod, knowing that there was no answer to be had here, knowing ultimately that he was right. It did not matter. At least, not if he was on our side. <laughs>